That's the question that puzzles scientists who are monitoring the moon. The thing is, our satellite is acting really weird, flaring up, erupting with fire, and producing multicolored fog. It raises the question, is this celestial body okay? Astronomers can't yet determine exactly what all these unusual moon symptoms mean. Although this satellite is really close to our planet and was visited by both spacecraft and astronauts, it turned out that there's still so much that we don't know about our nearest neighbor. But the worst part is, any catastrophe that could happen to the moon would undoubtedly affect us. In this video, you'll find out why is it dangerous for astronauts to land on the moon? Can our satellite explode? And most importantly, can the moon wipe out humanity? Why did the moon start winking at us? Even when a human does it, the intention isn't always straightforward. So what's that? Flirting? A sign of trust. All of this indeed has nothing to do with the enormous celestial sphere winking at Earth with some peculiar glow. All these weird things our satellite does were called transient lunar phenomena. These include bright moving objects, flashes, lights, multicolored shimmering, and the list keeps going. One of the first registered observations happened on June the 18th, 1178. That day, monks at Canterbury, Southeast England, reported on the shaking moon. They claimed there was a bright new moon visible in the sky. Like it usually happens during this phase, the moon looked like a crescent directed eastwards. But suddenly, its upper horn split apart. Heart. A glowing fire and sparks appeared in the middle of that split. The moon was seemingly trembling with trepidation and pulsating like a wounded snake. The process was repeated several times. Until this very day, nobody can figure out what it could possibly be. In 1969, an Apollo 11 astronaut, Michael Collins, also shared his observations. While in space, he saw an area on the satellite's orbit illuminated way brighter than the surrounding area. And these bright spots on the moon became a new mystery for astronomers. Scientists have already uncovered that at some point volcanoes were erupting on the moon's surface. But they still don't know when exactly and when did the moon stop being volcanically active if it ever did. But then, what caused the glow? Scientists concluded that another space object caused those flashing lights on the moon, say, a meteorite, for example. An occasion like that was also registered on the night between January the 20th and the 21st, 2019, when a meteorite presumably crashed into the moon. The hit was captured and remained in photos and videos and in memories of the people who happened to be looking at the sky at that moment. Perhaps thorough studying of eyewitness accounts could shed some light on this moon weirdness mystery. But the problem is, after the Apollo program was canceled, scientists lost nearly all their interest in the satellite. Only amateur astronomers are keeping an eye on the moon these days. Over the last 20 years, there were collected around 3,000 testimonials about untypical phenomena happening to the satellite. Although astronomers tend to doubt all those by standards reports on the abnormal behavior of the moon. Little by little, international scientific groups abandoned their activities, and only they were eligible to record anomalies and reconcile them with the foreign data. An event is considered real under one condition. It must be recorded simultaneously in at least two different locations. But it looks like scientists just don't care. Why bother? It's so much more interesting to explore Mars and exoplanets. We give too little attention to what's happening right under our noses. But what if we gotta think a bit faster and start acting already? Because apart from bizarre light flares, for some reason, the moon also shines in different colors. To begin with, 
What color is our satellite? We're used to thinking that it's dusty gray like it looks in the photos made by Apollo mission astronauts. There are even moon conspiracy theories suggesting that NASA is hiding all color images for some reason. Maybe it's not complete nonsense, since if we look at the photos of the moon made by the Chinese moonwalker, we'll discover that its surface looks more like Mars than a silvery gray plain land. After these photos, many people even started to doubt the reality of the American mission to the moon 50 years ago. There's no conspiracy, though. These are photos of the moon in brighter colors made by NASA from Galileo spacecraft. As you can see here, it's shining in different colors like a gem. NASA's not hiding anything from us. The thing is, all the moon's surface is covered with homogeneous regolith, dust-like soil that blurs colors and makes almost all the satellite's surface look monochrome. But beyond that, the moon was noticed shining in green, blue, and purple. What's that? I don't think the Holy Festival is celebrated on the moon. Scientists suggest it's a colored gaseous fog. But there's also a more frightening hypothesis. Colored and fiery flames are triggered by the fact that the moon may prove to be radioactive. Recent studies show that moon rocks are rich in radioactive materials such as uranium, thorium, and potassium. They still can't explain the nature of the strange phenomena on the moon because most reports aren't supported by adequate experiments. And due to the lack of data, some really crazy theories about what's wrong with the moon start popping out. For example, the assumptions that it can explode. Fire eruptions, light flares, strange pulsations. Does that ring any bells? That's how a star behaves before it explodes. No, I'm not crazy and I don't think the moon is a star. But I'm sure we know too little about our satellite and anything can happen. If the moon explodes, our planet will suffer the most. The moon will shatter into pieces that will immediately head towards Earth. They'll get heated in the atmosphere and approach us, destroying everything on their way. Large fires will break out on Earth and it won't take them long to burn everything down. Those satellite pieces that miss the planet will form a beautiful ring system. But you and I won't stand a chance to enjoy the marvelous view as we'll already be dead by then. The rotation of Earth will speed up since previously it was the moon that held it down. Our planet will start rotating much faster, which will trigger drastic climate changes. Powerful hurricanes and storms will emerge and sweep everything away. That will definitely be not the Earth we know now. But there's good news. In 2024, NASA plans to land a group of astronauts on the moon. They'll explore the satellite and determine whether we should be worried about it. However, this mission might be much more hazardous than we think. NASA had already worked on sending astronauts to the moon once again by 2028. Still, two years ago, the White House told NASA to move up its plans on the Artemis mission and complete it by 2024. This will be the first human landing on the moon after more than a 50-year-long hiatus. Interestingly, it's planned not only to land on the satellite, but also to set up a moon base camp or even a special station near the moon. The camp will be designed so that the astronauts will find it comfortable to stay there for around two months. Moreover, NASA will develop rovers that will help the astronauts conduct research. Thus, the moon may become our testing ground to rehearse a crewed mission to Mars, if all goes well. The initial launch date is February next year. Initially, NASA is planning to undertake a robotic mission, Artemis 1, around the moon. This will ensure a comfortable stay for the astronauts who will be sent there in a few years. But it still remains questionable if NASA succeeds in settling everything, in dispatching a crewed mission within the given deadline. Or maybe it's not even a question, since they don't even have their spacesuits ready yet. Their production required more than $400 million, 
And on top of that, the intention is to allocate another 600 million or more. It's rumored the mission's going to be postponed, and not just once. And that can be dangerous. If we build a base on the moon, it'll give us a chance to promptly send research missions there. And then we won't miss suspicious flares, meteorite strikes, or radioactive splashes. If the moon can really explode, we need to know about that beforehand. And it really matters that it doesn't happen when the astronauts land on it. Let's just hope that our satellite avoids all possible planetary catastrophes. Because even if it disappears in some mysterious way without destroying Earth at the same time, our lives will never be the same without the moon. The moon and Earth relationships aren't only about occurring tides. There are so many beliefs and references connected with it. And besides, the moon is an essential part of our pop culture. Without the moon, Jacob from Twilight would never be able to turn into a wolf. Sailor Moon would never have her power. And finally, King Harvest would never record Dancing in the Moonlight. What would you personally miss the most if the moon disappeared? Write in the comments.